Hello everyone, this is Akash here from Vendorskill.cf and in this video, I'll be showing you 5 free add-ons which you should always use in Blender. Now these add-ons will surely save your time and also simplify your work during your project. The download links of the add-on are given below in the description and some of the add-ons which I'll be showing may be known to you but even then, let's get started. So the first add-on is Images as Planes add-on. This is one of the most commonly used add-on out there and is really helpful. This add-on allows you to directly import an external image into Blender in a plane mesh rather than you having to unwrap a plane and set the materials and stuff manually. And when you use this add-on, you get the plane in exact dimension ratio just as the original image. It even gives you the options to choose the type of materials to be used for the plane. This add-on comes by default in Blender and you need to just activate it before you start working. Now I generally use this add-on when I am using an image as a background in my scene. And this is a real time saver. Next we have the Node Wrangler add-on which allows you to play with the nodes much more efficiently. This add-on really fills in all those missing features which the node editor currently has and is a great tool if you are trying to create complex materials with nodes in Blender. You have the option to view the result of every node just like in the compositor and also it has some other options such as lazy mix, multiple image import and even more. There are so many features in this add-on that I still don't know all of them. Then we have the dynamic sky add-on. This is another innovative add-on which allows you to do the lighting really fast. Normally for outdoor lighting, I like using HDRs or sometimes Blender's default sky texture. But this add-on is a blend between both these types. The add-on generates a procedural sky within Blender which is much better than the default sky texture and allows you to control every aspect of the sky. You can control the position of sun, the color of sky or ground and even the clouds in the sky. Since the sky generated is procedural, you can go to the node editor and customize it even more. Really helpful and innovative add-on for quick and amazing lighting. Then we have an add-on designed by me called Photo Editing Nodes for Blender's Compositor. This add-on adds in different photo style editing nodes in Blender's Compositor. Normally, Blender's Compositor has many nodes, which you may not even understand, and creating and experimenting with different node combinations for a single effect consumes a lot of time. This add-on is a collection of all these effects. You can change the temperature of your render, add vignette, make it look like sketch, and even more. The add-on allows you to quickly finish the post-production in just 4 to 5 notes. Really helpful and fast. Lastly, we have the Blender Mada add-on, which is the most efficient cycles material library. The add-on updates the material list from the internet and always provides you with all sorts of material sorted in different categories. Since it is an internet-based library, you get the latest materials. Also when you update the list, also when you apply a material from this library, the add-on instantly downloads the material and applies it to the object. This means that you don't have to download all the materials you need at the start. You have the option to preview the material, check the ratings and apply to the object in just a single click. So these are all the add-ons I'll be showing you for today. I hope all these add-ons help you in the future scenes in Blender and all the download links of add-ons shown can be found in the description. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment down below which is your favorite add-on. Thanks for watching.